This winter saw the public's heating bills jump in South Korea, leading to friction in parliament over who should be held responsible and to what extent the current government should offer help. Answering lawmakers this afternoon, the nation's prime minister said, rate hikes, albeit unpopular, are necessary to keep the country's finances sound. Our National Assembly correspondent Han Sung-woo has more. Officials from the Yoon Song yeol administration took part in the second day of this year's first parliamentary Q&A session at the National Assembly, where lawmakers demanded answers for the current state of the nation's economy, the rise in heating costs in particular. Questioned by the main opposition Democratic Party of Korea, Prime Minister Han dok su defended the government's decision to raise heating bills and energy costs saying the government has to prioritize sound finances over its popularity. Mr. Prime Minister, tell me then, what is the government for? The government's responsible for making sure South Korea is financially sound and properly recognized as so, both domestically and internationally. A populist government is not what we need. The opposition accused the government of shifting the blame onto the Moon Jae-in administration and suggested expanding support measures to the wider public. To that, the prime minister said energy vouchers and discounts should be focused primarily on the socioeconomically vulnerable. The ruling People Power Party, meanwhile, blamed the cost hikes on years of the previous administration's nuclear phase-out policy and accused it of freezing the energy rates for far too long. Why do you think the previous administration ignored the Korea Gas Corporation's requests for rate hikes? Liquefied natural gas costs began rising in early 2021 and soared in the second half of the year. Had the economy been taken into account, they would have increased the rates. That would have been the desirable option. There were several other considerations being made at the time, I believe. Prime Minister Han, meanwhile, opposed the idea of imposing a windfall tax on energy companies, and also told lawmakers that supplementary budget bills for now are unnecessary. Scheduled for Wednesday afternoon is another questioning session on education, society and culture. But grabbing the headlines will be the opposition's ongoing impeachment motion against Interior Minister Lee Sang-min over the government's alleged inadequate response to the Itaewon crowd crush, which the Democratic Party, holding a majority in parliament, could pass unilaterally. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.